Testing, testing. Let me get my journal. Grab my water. All right, let's get into it. Let's not waste any time. I know you guys have been wondering where I've been and you know what's going on with I, but she's back. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me as I navigate it through all the things we're about to talk about today. I'm basically here to just like catch y'all up on what I've been doing since I've been off the channel since March. Um, it's been about six months and in those six months so many things have happened. I got my journal. I got everything that I want to update y'all on. I'm about to get into it. And Let me go ahead and start by acknowledging that yesterday was the third anniversary of my Forever Angel. Um, if you guys know I lost my little brother about three years ago. We lost him so I want to go ahead and send some acknowledgement out for anyone who's lost somebody. Um, just kind of surreal how time goes and how life kind of just has to continue after such like a huge loss in the family so <sighs> had a very sentimental day yesterday and did a couple things to spend some time with him and let him know that he's always in my heart and will be forever one so had to get it out of my chest let me come back <laughs> not get all teary out this early in the video um yeah so that's that um next so it's been six months. Last I saw you guys, I posted this video. If you guys watched it, that's where I was at last you saw me. Um, since then, I've done 
so many different things. Um, one of which includes something really exciting. I started a new job this past January. So let's recap. This past January, I started teaching dance. And if you guys have really been sticking with the girl and really keeping up with me, then you know that dance was always my first love. Dance was my first dream before YouTube, before having my child, before college. Like, everything I wanted to do revolved around dance. So, I manifested in this past December. I spoke it into existence around December 11th, I think. And I was just talking about it. I just kept saying, like, watching my daughter dance has been something that is... It's bringing me back to my dream. So I I spoke it up. I said, well, 2024, I'm going to dance. And I just said it. I'm going to dance. And I have it written down. I was like, I will dance. I will make time to dance. Dance will be something that I put more effort into and that I actually, like, get back into doing. Because I, I genuinely, like, genuinely dancing is my soul. So come January, I got offered to teach at her dance studio, so not only am I a dance teacher, I'm my daughter's dance teacher. So, shout out to God. So that's clearly like really big news, and that's part of the reason why you guys have been seeing less and less and less of me, is just because I'm navigating how to like actually pursue the dream that I put off for all of Sincere's life. So I put that dream off, obviously having her motherhood became number one priority. My dreams, they can wait. Um, YouTube and being an entrepreneur has always been something I've done alongside raising her, but this was not my dream. This was something that I had to come into learning that I was able to do based on working from home, homeschooling and things like that. This was never like a dream. This was never, I didn't even see YouTube in the, in the car to me, but this just kind of fell into my lap as well. So very grateful for this space, but it wasn't what I wanted to do. So I think for me getting back into doing what I actually wanted to do. I, it was so abrupt and so quick and the manifestation came at the time that I wasn't, not going to say I wasn't prepared because I wanted to dance, but it just happened so quick. I accepted the job January 15th. I manifested it December 12th. So, I mean, within 30 days, it, it came to me. So, um, by way of my child. So, I mean, come on. Let's talk about the irony of that. You know, I put off a dream, deferred a dream to be able to become a mom and, you know, invest in her future before even considering what I wanted to do with mine. That's I'll figure that out later. Coming back into my dream through way of her expressing that she's also interested in it, I just feel like God really places the right amount of distance in between a lesson and a blessing. Because the lesson was you didn't really defer your dream. Your dream was still waiting for you. You just had to rework the path and the path was still there. So yeah, that's what I'm in with the space right now, I'm navigating how to get back into my dream, but also make my job work because now I have multiple jobs. I've always had multiple jobs, but now it's YouTuber, homeschooler, dance teacher. And just this past August, I also accepted a job at the studio as their admin assistant. So now not only am I a ballet and modern teacher for the studio, I'm also the admin assistant for the studio. So that's three jobs under the studio. And I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful. Um, my big, big, big dream was to open a dance studio. I was going to go to college, graduate with my dance degree from Towson, which I almost did, but we had baby sins. So, um, yeah, I switched out and did IT. So that's how YouTube, building websites, all that background. That's where that comes from. Um, let me rework it. I got a lot to say, clearly. <laughs> we'll probably have to do a part two to this video because I will chat y'all up. But, um. Yeah, so trying to figure out how to be a dance teacher, how to still be a mom, and how to maintain my business. So thank you guys so much for continuing to watch. Thank you guys for continuing to comment. I've been keeping up with the comments, not been doing so good at responding. i got to get back into that. But I'm definitely seeing that the same people who were watching years and years and years ago, you guys are still here. So love y'all. I love y'all. Just like really trying to figure out what it is that Sanaya wants for Sanaya. Um... And that comes with a lot of like me being by myself. And I don't know if I told y'all or not, but when I'm figuring things out up here, I don't want to do it at the same time that I'm producing work that requires my real energy, my real efforts, my real, you know, like dedicated intention. Like I'm being very specific when I'm teaching y'all something. It's such an energetic exchange that I have with y'all every time I come over and teach or I'm like just, just sharing whatever, whatever with y'all. I have to be in a good headspace. And while working and while doing all those things, I was not 100% in the best. Nye. Nye has been going through a lot of things behind the scenes, which we'll talk about, but I'll, I'll get into more of that later. But yeah, just like a lot of isolation, figuring out um, my relationship with God, taking time to 
figure relationships in general just between friendships partnerships everybody anybody that's in my orbit i'm like navigating how you actually fit into my life and whether or not you fit into my life at that point so that comes with a lot of a lot of things as well <laughs> so um but yeah while even doing that i was like okay this is a lot like things have sped up such at such an expeditious rate that I don't think I was able to really take the time to reflect and dissect what's going on. It was just happening. So, again, I can't really be on camera and be teaching and um, smiling on camera in front of thousands and thousands of people all the time when I'm myself working through a lot of things. And y'all have seen me go through this shift and sway before. You know, I go through spurts. I'll have a good exertion of maybe six months at a time. And then those other six months, I'm completely exhausted. And I need to like get back in my actual body. So that's what I feel like happened between, what was that, last September and this September? Yeah, it's been like six months on, six months off because I stopped in December again. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, dealt with that. Spent a lot of time by myself. A lot of time in my journals. A lot of time by myself, but actually going out more. That's something I don't do. I'm not one to go outside the house. Like I'm a real homebody, so... This past spring, summer, your girl was outside, okay? I had a summer camp job at the dance studio. So I taught Sincere's class and I worked with my kids, my ballet and my modern babies. And um, after doing that, I spent time like going out to do what I wanted to do. And that in itself was like, <sighs> like bring me back to life kind of energy. So the summer was cool. I had a really good summer. I did a lot of things. I did a lot of things. I met new people, exchanged new networking. Um, I went to new places, tried new foods, new experiences, just new, 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 new. So spring and summer was a blur, but it was a good time. And I had a good time amidst all the bad times that I had because they were equally yoked. Just as much fun as I had, I had a lot of not so fun. So we'll keep that. We'll, we'll, we'll put a pin in that one. <laughs> uh, let's see what else I write. Okay. I was very intentional about mama and daughter days so when I wasn't working or after like summer camp because Sincere also did summer camp for the first time this summer which was my first summer not having to be 100% hands on mama. I had a couple hours where I had time to run errands, take a nap, try to naps like what's a nap? <laughs> so going outside running errands, hanging out with my friends, taking naps. Sincere also made a lot of friends during summer camp. She completely blossomed over the summer. She did a lot of new things that I don't know, I just felt like it was a summer of like a rebirth for the both of us, so that was nice. Um, let's see. Yeah, spent a lot of more time, a lot more time intentionally making our mama daughter days about doing something. Like we can spend all day in the house, it'd be cool. But let's go somewhere. What do you want to do, Sin? What's your interest? What do you want to what do you want to see? What kind of food do you want to try? Um, so yeah, the summer was about me and her. I spent a lot of time investing into me and her. Um, and moving on into the next tidbit let's see yeah I think that those are like my major things um, okay we got back into dance we did a whole summer camp I've got another job outside of YouTube um, I spent a lot of time with my child and now we're back into homeschooling we're in a completely different environment I don't know if you guys can tell but your girl is in a whole new space, okay? Whole new space. I'll give y'all a home tour update soon. But that's another big life change. Um, moved out of my house. Got a new space for me and her. And yeah, just really like in this whole new, like this whole new era of life. And it feels, it feels like a really fresh start. So I'm back. It's October 1st. We still have October, November, December. So I'm coming back even stronger than I did when I left. You guys will have more content coming. Um, I want to catch up with y'all though. I want to hear what's going on with y'all in the comments. How did you guys feel over the summer? What y'all do for the summer? Any concerts? Any traveling? Because your girl does some traveling. Okay. Pause on the play real quick. Because now I just realized that half of the video that I just filmed, sitting here talking with y'all, was blurry. Yeah. Also working with the new camera. So, <laughs> just... I'm so sorry for it being blurry. Hopefully y'all can still see me. It doesn't matter. You're here to listen to what I'm going through and what I'm catching y'all up on. Okay. But yeah. It's blurry. It's okay. It's okay. So yeah. Anyway, the video got stopped short because my storage is actually full. So. So. 
So, yeah, the video actually cut short because my storage is full, which means I probably talked way over the eight minutes that I allotted myself for this video. Um, but to go ahead and end the video off really quick, I want to go ahead and say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank y'all for sticking with Slater Renee Way. Okay. Um, new gems coming on Fridays. I'm going to be doing Friday and Sunday uploads probably. Sunday I'm giving like a weekly vlog type of vibe and then Friday there will be some content, educational, teaching you guys a new skill, um, sharing y'all new business opportunity or just sharing something educational on Friday. So I will see y'all on Friday. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Welcome me back with some love. I can't wait to respond to all you guys comments, questions, concerns and everything like that. But I need to go ahead and start editing this video because it is currently 12 o'clock. It's currently 12 o'clock and I need this video to go up before I got to go to my job at five. So yeah, I will see y'all on Friday.